hi lovelies welcome back again to my channel thank you so much for coming back may god bless you if you are new to the channel my name is chisom and in this channel i teach about hair growth and fashion tutorials so please subscribe to join the, this amazing wonderful family okay thank you so in today's video we are, go we are going to cut a princess that bustier okay I will show you the easiest method to cut the princess dart and at the end of the video or at the end of the tutorial I'm going to reveal some challenges some of the challenges we'll encounter while sewing the princess dart and, and, how, and how to take care of it during the cutting for you to get a perfect result alright so please make yourself comfortable and watch the video to the end so you won't miss out of any important information all right thank you so much so for the tutorial we need our tape we need the ruler chalk scissors and of course our material okay so let's get started So I'm going to start by cutting out the amount of the fabric or the quantity of the fabric we need for this tutorial. Okay? And for me to do that, I'm going to be using two measurements. The half length and bust circumference. The ha my half length is 16 and my bust is 38. So I'm going to fold the material into two like this. Then I'm going to measure out my half length which is 16 inches and I'll be adding one and a half inches sewing allowance to that altogether 17 and a half inches okay I've got 17 and a half inches here and at this horizontal side I'm going to measure bust the bust measurement I'm working with is 38 38 divided by 2 will give me 19 then I'll mark 19 here. I'm going to be adding extra 8 inches allowance. So I'm going to mark it here. So the next thing I'll do is to cut. what we need for the tutorial okay just this one so after cutting it the next thing I'll do is to open up this part this part that is that is closed yeah so I've opened it up I've separated it now we have two pieces of material one will be front and the other will be the back okay yeah so the next thing I'll do is to fold it like this and then I'll fold this one again like this so guys after folding it I'll have the front side I'll have the front and then the back so I'm going to keep the back side after cutting the front side I will cut the back side okay the measurement I'm working with is bust measurement 38 bust point 10 under bust 13 round under bust 33 half length 16 and shoulder shoulder 16 this is for a medium size bust okay so let's go ahead and start the, the cutting I'm going to start my measurement from this close side, from this side, okay? I'll start by measuring the neck width of 3.5, standard. Okay. So next, I'm going to measure the shoulder. My shoulder is 16, 16 divided by, by 2 will give me 8. So I'm going to mark 8 inches here. So 
at this point, I'm going to come down by one inch for shoulder slope or shoulder slant. Okay, I'll measure one inch here. The reason why we are slanting the shoulder is because our shoulders are not straight. Okay, I'll connect it to the neck width like so. Next, I'm going to measure my shoulder allowance, half inch shoulder allowance. This shoulder allowance is very, very important as far as princess that is consigned. So you don't need to forget it or skip it. If you do so, it's going to affect the fitting of your clothes. What will happen is that the bust, will, the bust curve or the bust point will shift. It will shift position, okay? To shift position to the upper bust or to the chest, okay? So it's very important that you add your allowance, your shoulder allowance very very important okay so after adding the shoulder allowance i'm going to measure my armhole depth from this shoulder allowance so my armhole depth is nine inches and it's standard for me okay i make use of nine inches armhole depth but if you want to do the mass the formula is your boss circumference divided by six plus 1.5, whatever you have will be your armhole depth. So I'm going to connect it like this. So, yeah. So next, I'm going to create my armhole curve. For me to do that, I'm going to measure out my boss circumference here. My boss circumference is 38. 38 divided by 4 will give me 9.5. So I'm going to measure it here. And then I'll connect this line to the to my bust measurement. Okay. So here I'm going to determine the center of this armhole. Okay. So when I make this is 9 inches, 9 divided by 2 will give me 4.5 and I'll mark. This is to create the ample curve okay so at this point I'm going to go in by half an inch and mark at this point I'm going to connect it to the shoulder and then connect this one to this point with a curve all right So this is my armhole curve. Next, I'm going to create my neckline. I've already measured my neck width. I'll measure my neck depth from this allowance, from this shoulder allowance, okay? I'm going to measure neck depth of five inches. It's not fixed, okay? You can decide to change it depending on the style you are making okay so I'm going to connect it and then I'll create my curve for round neck yeah so next I'm going to add my vertical measurements my vertical measurement is from shoulder to bust point, from shoulder to under bust, and from shoulder to my half length. So from, from this allowance, shoulder allowance, I'm going to mark my bust point. My bust point is 10. Then I'll mark 10. 
Then my under bust is 13, then I'll mark 13. And my half length is 16, mark 16. Okay, so I'm going to rule out the lines. So we are going to create the princess that now. We are going to come to the boss point. This is the this line is boss point. Okay, I'll come to my boss point. Then I'll measure my boss span. Boss span is the distance from one boss to the other. Okay, is the boss span or nipple to nipple. Okay, so my boss span is seven inches. Seven divided by two. Will give me 3.5 then i'll add half an inch to that making it four inches then i'll mark four inches here okay so i'll come to my under bust line okay whatever i have here i'll remove half an inch and mark at my under bust so when I remove half an inch from 4 inches, I'll have 3.5. Then I'll mark. Then I'll also extend it to this point, 3.5. Then I'll mark. Okay? So I'll connect the lines. I'll connect this line. And I'll connect these lines. I'll connect it to this one, to the boss point. Like so. Yeah. So for us to determine where we are going to place our princess line, on the armhole, we are going to measure our armhole and divide by 2. Okay? So I'll measure my armhole like this. Then I'll have 10 inches. 10 divided by 2 will give me 5. So I'll measure my 5 inches here and mark. So I'm going to connect it to the bust point. I'm going to connect this line from the bust point to the arm armhole. It's a curve, a very slant curve. Yeah, look at what we have. Okay? So to create our curve, I come to the under boss and measure 2 inches here and mark. This two inches is not fixed, okay? It can change depending on the measurement you are working with, okay? This one is for medium size. For bust measurement from 40, 43 upwards, we are going to measure 2.5 inches here, okay? And for bust measurement of 35 to 32, we are going to measure 1.5 here okay so and from for bus measurement of 36 to 42 yeah we are going to measure two inches here okay that is the medium size so my bus is 38 so it's medium size that's why i'm measuring two inches here okay i mark then i'm going to extend the two inches to the half length and mark then I'll connect the two lines like this I hope it's clear so from the bus point I'm going to come down by one inch and mark 
So from this one inch, I'm going to create a curve to connect to the under boss, these two inches here, okay? Like so. So we are through with this side. So at this point, at this place, I'm going to come here and measure 1.5 inches at this armhole line. Okay? So if it is for big bust, you can measure 2 inches here. Alright? But you are going to share it to this line. 1 inch upwards and 1 inch downwards. Okay? I'm going to share it 0 0.75 upwards and 0 0.75 downwards, okay? So I'm going to measure it like this. 0 0.75 is here. Then I'll mark. And 0 0.75 is here. Upwards, then I'll mark. Okay? So at this boss point again, we measure 1 inch upwards and mark. The reason why I measure one inch upwards and one inch downwards is to help us create a good, a smooth curve for our bust. Okay, so that it will be easy for us to, you know, create our curve. So that's the reason why we are we added one inch upwards and one inch downwards, just to get a very smooth curve to accommodate our bust. All right, so that it will balance very well. Okay, so for big boss, you can come down by 1.5 or go and go up by 1.5. All right, so at this one inch here, I'm going to connect to this 0 0.75 downwards and 0 0.75 upwards, like this. Okay, so now we have our cup, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do is to extend this line upwards. I'm going to extend this line by 1.5 inches, okay? So whatever I measure here, I'm going to use it to extend the line, okay? So I have 1.5 inches here. So I'll be extending this line by 1.5 inches. So I'm going to measure 1.5 inches here. And that is here, and I will mark. This is 1.5 inches. So I'll extend this line to this plate, to this point, the 1.5 inches. Like this, okay? The reason for doing that is so that when you join, when you sew your princess core, the, this line and this line will align together, okay? This line will not be shorter than this line, okay? If you don't extend this line after sewing it, after joining this, sewing this curl, you will notice that this line is going to be shorter than this line. It will not align together, okay? So you need to extend this, this line, so that it will align together after sewing it. So this 1.5 inches here that I added here, I'm going to add it to the bust measurements, to the to my bust circumference, okay? So I'm going to come here and measure 1.5 inches here and mark, alright? So I'm going to create another curve of, to meet this one, like this. So this is our new armhole curve now, okay? 
The next thing for us to do is to add our horizontal measurement. Our horizontal measurement is the bus circumference, the underboss circumference, or the underboss round. Here, I'm going to I'm going to measure our bus measurements. Uh, my bus circumference is 38. 38 divided by 4. I believe you know the reason why we are dividing by 4. Because our material, material is folded into 4. As you can see, this front one is 1, 2. And the back side is, has 2. It's also 2. It's making it 4. Okay, that's why we are dividing by 4. Okay, I've done this before. And we are 38 divided by 4 will give me 9.5, which I've measured before. Then, this 1.5 inches is from here. The 1.5 inches that are added are this armhole line. Okay? So, that is this 1.5 inches. So, I'll be adding 2 inches sewing allowance. Here. So, I'll come to my underboss line. My underboss measurement or underboss round is 33. 33 divided by 4 will give me 8.8. .8. Then I'll mark. Okay? And because we have 2 inches here, we have 2 inches at this line. I'm going to add the same 2 inches here plus sewing, 2 inches sewing allowance, making it 4 inches. So I'll be adding 4 inches sewing allowance here. And mark. Then I'll extend it to the, to the half length. Okay? And I'll connect this to the bust. Yeah. This is what we'll have. Our princess, that, our princess bustier is ready. Okay? So, the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut it out. Okay? Please, at this point, if you like this video, please give, give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you have not done so. Subscribe for more videos, okay? So at this point, I'm going to cut, okay? So for the back side, I'm going to start by measuring out our zip allowance. I'll be making use of 1.5 inches for zip allowance and I'll mark. our zip allowance so all our measurement is going to start from this line for the zip allowance okay not this place from this line okay so I'll start by measuring my neck width my I'll measure my neck width standard of 3.5 inches and mark then our shoulder measurement is 16 16 divided by 2 8 then I'll mark okay so at this point, I'm going to come in by one inch for shoulder slope. I believe you know the reason why we are creating the shoulder slant. Because our shoulders are not straight. So I'll connect to the 
to the neck width like so so i'm going to create my allowance my shoulder allowance of half inch at the shoulder line okay and mark i'll connect it like so From this shoulder allowance, I'll measure my arm hole, my arm hole depth of 9 inches and mark. So I'm going to connect it. Okay. For us to create our arm hole curve, I'm going to come here and measure my boss circumference. My bust is 38 divided by 4 will give me 9.5. Then I'll mark. Then I'll extend the arm hole to this bust measurement. Like this. Okay? So the midpoint of our arm hole depth is 4.5. Then I'll mark. Yeah, so at this point, I'm going to create our curve. We are not going to go in by half inch because this is the back side. So I'm going to create our curve like this. So this is our armhole curve. Next, we are going to measure our neckline. The neck depth for the back side is two inches. Our mark. Because it's going to be a high neck, okay? So it's optional. I can decide to make use of any neckline you want. So I'm going to curve it like this. I'll extend it to the zip allowance like this, okay? So next, we're going to add our vertical measurements. Our vertical measurements is from shoulder to boss point, from shoulder to under boss, and from shoulder to half length. So I'll add, I'll measure my boss point 10 inches, under boss 13 inches, and half length 16 inches. And I'm going to rule out the lines. So yeah, so we are going to create our princess line, okay? This is optional. You can decide to make use of the normal dart for the back side. There's no problem with that, okay? But I'm going to create the uh, princess dart for the back side as well. So I'll come to the bust point. I'll measure our bust pan of 4 inches and mark. Under bust, 3.5, mark. I'll mark. Then... Half length 3.5. I'll mark. Then I'll connect the lines. Okay. So after measuring our armhole curve when we are cutting the front side, okay, and we got 10 inches. So I'll come here and mark 5 inches, okay? So, instead of connecting the this line from the 5 inches to the bust point like this, I'm not going to do that because I don't like the shape at the back side. So, for me, I, I like to go up by 1.5 inches like this, okay? So, I'm going to connect from this 1.5 inches to the bust line, okay? That way, it will give me a better shape at my back side. So this is my princess line for the back side. So the next thing I'm going to do is, from this point, I'm going to extend this line again by one inch. Like this. 
okay so i'll be creating another armhole curve to join this one all right like this so this one this will be my new armhole curve okay it's the reason why we are you know the reason why we are extending this this line so that when i want to join this line uh, because i'm going to cut it out when i want to join it it's going to align with this line up here okay so next thing we are going to do now is to add our our horizontal measurements that is the bus circumference the under bus circumference okay my boss is 38, 38 divided by 4 will give me 9.5. Then I mark. I'm going to add 2 inches sewing allowance. Like this. Okay. Under bust. My under bust round is 33. 33 divided by 4 will give me 8.25. Then I'll add 2 inches sewing allowance. I'll extend it down to the half length. And I connect it to this one. Okay. So, at this point, I'm going to cut it out. Alright. So after cutting this now, it looks so beautiful and nice. Okay, but sometimes after when we are joining it, we tend to you know en encounter some some little difficulties. Okay, so at the beginning of this video, I told us that at the end of the tutorial, I'm going to you know reveal some of the challenges we face or some difficulties we face while trying to sew. The princess bust here okay so i'm going to explain to you some of the problems that you can that you will encounter while sewing this and how to take care of it now okay so it is it is a normal thing you don't need to bother your, yourself about that that's why i need to point it out so that you take note of it and then what to do so you know take care of it you will notice that after sewing after joining the breast cut it will be shorter than the back side okay the reason is because of this curl so after you sew this curl it tends to drag the clothes and make it shorter than the back side okay so what you need to do to take care of it is this we are going to come that come to the to the back side and you are going to remove this one inch allowance here okay for you to take care of that issue so that when you when you place the front to the back after join, to join the shoulder they are going to align together so i'm going to cut it out now this is what i normally do and after sewing it it comes out perfect so i'm going to remove this one inch allowance for the back side okay so now after sewing the 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 princess that it will no longer be longer than the front after joining it okay so the second problem is on the bust the front side when you join the the bust okay you will notice that the two side this side okay you know this is going to be at the two sides okay this side now 
it's going to the shape is going to it's not going to be straight okay it's going to bend like this for us to take care of that problem i'm going to come here and measure 0 0.75 here and mark and then i'm going to connect it to this point okay okay so the shape is going to be looking slant now no longer straight so i'm going to trim it off like so this one after joining it the way you are supposed to join so it is going to look straight it's no longer going to the side will no longer be be slanted okay it's going to now come out straight okay so this these are the two problems you encounter while sewing your princess bustier okay and i've been able to give you solution to that try it out and then let me know your results in the comment section okay so thank you so much for watching please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up all right and subscribe if you have not done that try and share this video you may be helping someone okay so till next time for now it is bye bye